send their kids how to stroller or jam at the state capitol today. It's in opposition to two bills that would change Iowa gun laws. KCCI's Jason Rantel explains why they're up in arms. Cynthia, the mothers we spoke with were part of a group called Moms Demand Action for Gun Sense in America. They're concerned with a part of the bill that would no longer require Iowans to present a gun permit during the private sale of a handgun. Dozens of moms armed with children took to the state capitol Thursday. We're just coming out to let lawmakers know that we're passionate about this issue. Mom Amber Gustafson of Ankeny is here with her kids. She and others are mainly concerned with legislation that would remove mandatory gun permits for private sales of guns. For too long, the gun rights lobby has been way too vocal, and there hasn't been anyone who's been able to push back. The moms headed straight to the Senate door. But when they come in groups with a purpose, with their mothers, that's a big deal to me. In their arms, a petition with 1,600 signatures, echoing their concerns with senators. I think we have a, have a lot of gun rights in Iowa. And I think these, these mothers say that let's calm down and take a look at it. Gustafson's concern is a resulting increase in violence after similar laws were enacted in other states. In the state of Missouri, they passed a similar law and they saw a 23% rise in violent homicide with guns. I would say those statistics are probably flawed. Representative Winshettle says the mom's concerns are unwarranted. Under the new bill, he says anyone selling guns privately will need to know if the person they're selling to is not permitted to have a firearm under penalty of a Class D felony. What that's going to do is encourage people that are doing a person to person sale. They're either going to absolutely know the person they're selling the firearm to, or they're going to take it to their local uh, firearm store and have them run it, uh, the background check. He says the new bill, if approved, will not result in an increase of violence, as the mothers on Thursday claim. Iowans are reasonable, responsible people. Just because someone else is going to be a bad actor and do something uh, incorrect or criminal does not mean you should be restricting Iowans' constitutional rights based upon someone else's bad actions. Now, one version of the bill has been passed in the House. The Senate version is less developed. A staff aide with the Senate tells us they have not caucused yet for the bill. He says expect maybe pieces of the bill to be passed this year, others passed next year. Live in the newsroom, Jason Rantel, KCCI 8 News, I was News Leader.